हेलो गाइस दिस अली सलांकी एंड टुडे वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डीएसए वर्सेस डेवलपमेंट नाउ डीएसए बेसिकली मींस डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एल्गोरिदम्स एंड इफ यू आर एन इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट यू प्रोबेबली आर स्टडीइंग डीएसए करेंटली सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज डीएसए व्हाई शुड यू बी स्टडीइंग दैट एंड व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज डेवलपमेंट एंड व्हाई शुड यू बी doing that as well so we'll be talking and comparing both of these things and i'll be sharing my entire experience of being a mobile app developer then i started developing web applications then got into blockchain development so i have enough experience in the development side as well as in the dsa part so if you go over to this channel and scroll down to the starting videos you would see that this particular channel was actually made to solve some dsa problem. problems itself and that was from code chef so yeah if you don't know what code chef is we'll be talking about it later down the video but i just wanted to put it out that i've done dsa i've done development so now i will be sharing my entire experience with both of these things so let's start with how did i first got to know about dsa and how did i start so it was back in my first year of engineering when uh, i was introduced to dsa and that is where i was told that if you want to get good placements you want to get into google facebook or any of these big tech companies then you need to understand dsa and you need to be an expert when it comes to dsa so that is where my motivation lied i was like okay let's learn dsa and let's be an expert over there which is the best website from where i can learn it from so there are a couple of websites there's hacker rank there's code forces and a lot more but the one website that i really liked was code chef and that's where i started to practice dsa so in my first year itself i started with dsa and i started to compete in all of these competitions that were hosted on code chef now over there it's really interactive and you can see each other's codes and you can actually compete on a very good level and i reached i think two or three stars i don't remember exactly but uh, that is where i was on code chef after that i got to know about hackathon so hackathons are these 24 to 48 our long events wherein you have to develop some applications now over there my dsa knowledge was not at all useful of course dsa helps you in building logic but when it comes to actually building real life products like mobile applications web applications or any of these stuff you do not actually need dsa knowledge at all you would have to actually start from scratch if you are learning development so when i was participating in all of these hackathons my development journey actually began I started with Android development and I was doing it through Android Studio. After that I got a couple of projects. These were specifically for web development and mobile app development. So in the mobile app development part, usually the projects that I was getting was cross platform. So they wanted applications to be built both on Android as well as iOS. So when these projects came in, I started to learn more about Flutter. Flutter is another framework for developing mobile applications and then I started building mobile mobile apps from there and then i got into blockchain development as well and my entire blockchain development journey is actually listed in one of my videos so you can go check it out as well in this video i just want to talk about development as well as dsa so as you can see i actually left dsa quite a long time back i left it in my first year itself in my second year i used to compete in certain competitions but then i just left it and the major reason for that was because i was not able to build any real life life projects or i was not able to build any applications with my dsa knowledge it was only through learning all about these different frameworks that i was able to do all of these things and to be completely honest you do not need any kind of knowledge from the dsa part if you are you know learning about development because dsa is really important when it comes to logic building now one more thing that i want to address over here which was told to me in my first year itself was that if you want to get hired in really good companies you need to have knowledge of dsa you need to be able to crack these really tough tech quizzes and tech interviews and in these tech interviews usually they would be asking you everything about dsa the reason why they ask all of these data structures and algorithms in technical interviews is because that is what you're taught in the four years of engineering that you're spending 
they just want to check if you're sincere if you're actually paying attention and if you actually have a knack for coding now dsa is a really good way to know if a person understands code and has the logic behind it so yeah if you really want to get into good companies then yes you can actually go deep dive into dsa and start participating in all of these competitions but that is not the only way you can also participate in open source projects you can contribute to these projects and once the maintainers they see that okay you have made a lot of contributions you can actually get hired from those companies as well so there are two ways one wherein you learn about dsa and then you implement all of those things in your technical interviews and that's how you get a job and the second way which is contributing to all of these open source projects and getting hired through that route now when it comes to open source projects what do you need to learn and how do you actually contribute to all of these things if you want to learn about open source contributions and how you can actually get into all of these things you can check out Kunal Kushawa's channel his entire channel is actually about development and open source contributions so huge shout out to him and you can go check his channel out now let's talk about my experience when it came to DSA DSA was really good i enjoyed it a lot i'm a kind of person who loves solving problems and DSA was something where i could add my own creativity and there are multiple solutions to the same problem so those are the things that i really like and if you're someone who loves solving problems coming out with their own creative methods in order to solve them then dsa might be something that you might like but uh, i also loved building products i wanted to see everything that i was coding in my hands if it was mobile app development i was able to build applications like show world guest in me and all of these different applications you can still see them on play store and in my portfolio as well if you're planning on doing freelancing then i would highly highly suggest you to go with the development route rather than doing something like dsa Apart from that if you want to know about the entire road map and how you can actually get into all of these things then you can check out this particular video over here and over there I've explained and laid out an entire road map for these things so go check it out and see you in that video